Both my parents came from abroad. My mother came as a child from Bosnia Herzegovina, the former Yugoslavia. And this was spurred by what is typical in terms of people leaving their homeland. War, the first war notably. My father came from Yemen. A similar circumstance with regard to coming to America. Uh, the turmoil, the social turmoil, and I, I didn't learn this until later on in my dad's years and in my years, that it was spurred by even a blood feud. And his grandfather was instrumental in getting him out of the country as a teenager to essentially make sure no harm came to him. And he came in his early teens, falsified his age to make himself older, and worked many odd jobs. In the course of looking for jobs, he traveled the, 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 the railroad circuit and boxcars and traveled across the country looking for, you know, uh, game, to be gainfully employed with work. End up settling here in, in the Michigan area, uh, in the Detroit metropolitan area. And uh, one of the things I love about his story is that he was a very hard-working man, like most of our immigrants' families are. My mother was, too. She was a, a, uh, a waiter, a waitress, I should say. My dad, oh God bless him, he, uh, he had a very strong Yemeni background. He, uh, his education level, like my mom's education level, uh, was nothing more than like seventh grade, formal. My mother was the oldest of, uh, let's see, she had three sisters and a brother, five, five, four siblings. Her father was a barber, took ill, so she had to quit school, take a job here in the area, and she, as a matter of fact, what she was doing at uh, Miller Road and Dix, right on the, the we call it the the, the south uh, south east corner, there was a, a an arrangement there where they would make sandwiches, and they would drive them in these small train cars into the complex at Ford Motor Company for the workers. That's where she worked. She uh, she had a tough life. The things that my mother and father had to go through early on. Early on, my older sister told me the story. They moved into what is now Dearborn Heights. It was a township at one time. And in the Syracuse, um, Annapolis area, because my father was dark complected, my mother had a ruddy complexion, they were literally forced out of the community. This is a racial bent back in the, you know, back in the late 30s even, for heaven's sakes. And from there, that's where they ended up settling in South Dearborn. My dad uh, worked two full-time jobs. He worked at Ford Motor Company and worked at Chrysler. He'd get off one job, go to the other. He almost worked two solid years like that. He suffered an injury at Chrysler. They sent him to first aid, wrapped his arm up. Next morning, he showed up to work at Ford Motor Company as supervisor and started querying him out. Oh, what's, what's with a sore arm and how did it happen? And if the revelation finally came out that he injured his arm, he's working at Chrysler. He didn't do anything that was illegal, but the supervisor at this point says, listen, this is not a good work arrangement. You need to choose one job or the other. In which case he chose staying at Ford Motor Company. And he worked there for, uh, it was 40, more a little more than 40 years. Very hardworking man. I can remember him working more than a solid year, seven days a week. A very durable man, very strong constitution, but that was the nature of all my friends and their parents, their fathers, and the various places they came from. Um, he came to South Dearborn in the shadows of Ford Motor Company because Ford was the, the, the employment gravitation for people from all over the country, outside of the country, um, Europe, Eastern Europe, Mediterranean, Far East. Uh, in the South Dearborn community that I grew up in, there were 45 nationalities that spoke 52 languages. And you had every, just about every ethnic group represented. So these, these are the sort of dynamics that I, I grew up with. Uh, and, and my father and my mother, oh, wonderful, wonderful people in, in terms. My dad, I think I mentioned it earlier, I would walk with him. Total strangers, in need of help, he'd give them help, guidance. I was walking with him one day when a little girl was running down the street coming from the front of us, crying, screaming. She was being chased by a little boy. The girl passed us, my dad, my dad grabbed that boy, 
And he's complaining, that's my sister. And he said, I, said, I don't, my dad said, I don't care who it is. You're not gonna touch that little girl again. That's the way he was. He was a fighter for little people, for the underdog. And I've always been that way myself.